2021 saw the NFL lose some of its greats. We will not forget them. There's a gleam, man. There's a gleam. Let's get the gleam, all right? Let's go. Hard not to take a shine to Marty Schottenheimer, who won 205 games in his 21 seasons as a head coach. Rob, are they holding you? Don't let them hold you. Yes, sir. Don't let them hold you. Nobody ever held back Sam Huff, who made the 1950s All-Decade team and ultimately the Hall of Fame. You have to be what they call in football hard nose. Uh, you have to like contact, and you have to want to hit the guy with a ball. It's a basic characteristic. Hit him harder than he hits you. Huff could do it all, but for rushing the passer... The best I ever played against was Claude Humphrey. Played the left defensive end on the right of our offense. So he generally had the great big tackle to deal with, the more physical tackle. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. Neither did Irv Cross, who went from a blazer on the field to a trailblazer on TV, becoming the first full-time African-American sportscaster on a national show. This is the Lamborghini Countach. It's one of a kind. And one of a kind fits Hall of Fame running back Floyd Little perfectly. His bowed legs were both his signature and his strength. I think my balance was a lot different than guys who did not have that parenthesis <laughs> in their legs. It helped me to maintain balance. If you look at some of the times I've been hit from the side and been knocked away, I was able to fall down and bounce up again. And it was a unique style, it was different. You had to be strong. Strong? That's Curly Culp all over. Straight it up, come on, straighten him up. Ready, go! <laughs> the former college wrestling champ was practically Hercules in a helmet. Going where he liked, taking what he wanted. Jesse was an honor for the wear, red and white of the Kansas City Chiefs and the blue and white of the Houston Oilers. I am now honored and humbled to wear Hall of Fame Go! <laughs> Running back Tom Maddy led the NFL in yards in 1969. And while he didn't make the Hall of Fame, his wristband did. It was an abridged version of Baltimore's playbook that he used when pressed into service as the Colts' emergency quarterback. Nitsky tried to rip it off my wrist. And I'm saying, oh my God, what are, you, what are you doing? He says, hey, you don't need that. You don't need help. You don't need to cheat on the football field. I said, hey, listen, I need all the help I can get. Bill Glass understood need. After retiring from the game, the four-time Pro Bowl defensive lineman became a clergyman ministering especially to the imprisoned. Really hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You get the end of your rope, you tie on and hang on. Never, never, never give up. Even when things looked their bleakest, Mike Davis never surrendered, even when a playoff loss seemed certain. Sipe wants to take a shot into the end zone. He looks, he throws, and it's a great play that may have been intercepted, and the Cleveland Browns call on what's it was Mike Davis who made the big interception. We'll miss the pancake blocks of Tunch Ilkin and the sweetest syrup moves of Jaguar John Arnett. Vincent Jackson's great hands. What a grab by Vincent Jackson. Vincent Jackson, have a game, will you, man? Keith McCant's ferocity. Freddie Joe Nunn's tenacity the thunderous runs of Sam Bam Cunningham, and the shrewd motivation of Jim Fossil. I'm raising the stakes right now. If this is a poker game, I'm shoving my chips to the middle of the table. I'm raising the ante, anybody wants in, get in. Anybody wants out, can get out, okay? This team is going to the playoffs. He was as good as his word. Super Bowl, here we come. In 2021, we lost Ted Thompson, who won a pair of Super Bowls with the Packers. Darius Johnson matched that feat with the Broncos. Greg Knapp was the offensive mastermind of half a dozen teams, but he reached the top of the mountain in the Mile High City. So did Demarius Thomas, who notched over 700 catches, 63 TDs, and a couple of Bronco team records. Thompson's at 25, it's at 20, here we go, 10, five, touchdown Denver! The most receiving yards by a Bronco in team history. 88, Mary Thomas. 
Tom Brady threw his first ever touchdown pass in the Super Bowl to David Patton, who understood the best things in life aren't always found on a football field. Joe Walton knew it too. You get knocked down sometimes. And the, uh, the real true measure of a person, I think, is if he gets back up. Of course, there's nothing wrong with spending a career knocking people down, like Hall of Famer Mick Tinglehoff. He had the look. He had the eye. And from the first time he stepped on the field, we knew he was a player. And he had a jolt. He blocked against the great linebackers like Butkus and Nitschke, who were in our division. Uh, he played against the best. There's power, and there's men who harness it. Down, set, ready, 100, 200. Hi, one, hi, two, boom, you know, drive, 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 drive. You know, and then you can just ride it the whole thing. John Madden was the master of all things football. As the Raiders head coach, he compiled the greatest winning percentage in NFL history. I only had three rules, and one was be on time, pay attention, play like hell when I tell you to. For most men, winning the Super Bowl would be the tops. But Madden went on to even greater heights in the broadcast booth. He makes a little basketball twist there and pivot, and boom, the ball's there right again between the eight and the nine. He was the everyman. He was the guy next door. He was the guy you want to have a beer with, which is what made him a great spokesman. He could pitch anything because he was really selling himself, and we bought it. They have no idea where we are, who we are, where we're coming from. Very interesting. For nearly half a century, he was the heart of the game. We'll treasure him always. Today feels like the second time in my life that I'm being carried off the shoulders of others. Yet instead of off the field, it's into the Hall of Fame. And instead of five or six guys, today I ride in the shoulders of hundreds of friends. This has been the sweetest ride of them all. Thank you.